If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, how can I overcome nervousness and shyness around women once and for good at 22 years old? Answer by Lava Kramer. The one exercise that'll change your life. Or will it? Wouldn't it be nice to approach the opposite sex with crazy confidence and know that you're going to have a positive interaction? This one exercise might just help you break out of your shell. First of, I try to keep everything simple. Here is one exercise that out of all exercises seem the most efficient one to hack confidence. Approach one person that intimidates you every day. Whether it's a big CEO in a company or a business person in an airport or a pretty person you're romantically interested in. Always be respectful and thank them for the time they gave you. After 365 days, you'll see you're a completely different person. Here is another skill. 10 things why you'll learn in under 1 minute slash day with this habit to keep you supercharged. How to vlog and speak into a camera. Pick up a camera and start speaking to it. Cheers. Love it from Why Not 3? Answer by Isabel Tinker Affinito. It might help to embrace your shyness and nervousness instead of fighting it. First, know that many women find shyness attractive. You may not know it but there are probably women out there who find you mysterious, and want to get to know you better. Being quiet in a crowd might even make you appear intelligent, discerning, and thoughtful. There is a proverb, even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise, and he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. My husband is very attractive, but he was a bit shy when he was single. Has still shy, occasionally, in crowds and relies on me to get the small talk going. He says things to me like, if anything ever happened to us, I would be so lost. I have no game. But, from my perspective, I like that he is reserved. He doesn't talk a lot at parties so partly because he has something weird going on with his hearing where he can't hear anything in bars or other loud places. And partly because he's shy around people when he first meets them. I'm proud to be his wife, and to know him like no one else in the world. I know that he looks at me differently than he looks at any other woman. He is not an open book but I get to read every page. Has reserved enough that he would probably hate this post. But luckily, he rarely reads Quora. And of course, now that has married and unavailable, he can't walk into a bar without half the females stopping what they're doing to stare at him. He doesn't notice. I do. He thinks in exaggerating. There's a practical lesson here. If you can be comfortable being yourself, even your nervous shy self, and worry less about what the women around you think, they'll find you more attractive. You don't have to wait to be unavailable to learn this lesson. In the situation with your friend, when he called you out for your social anxiety, you could try being really honest. Yeah, that's me. It's this thing I have. Excuse me, while I get a drink. Not because I need one, but because this is the kind of thing I do to get out of awkward conversations. Nice to meet you. The girl will either find this weird in a bad way, in which case who needs her, or delightfully weird, in which case she might come chase you down later. Good luck, and don't stop being you. Not every woman wants a life of the party guy. Answer by Peter Morse check. First, don't worry about improvement this year, or even next. 22 years old is hard, for most things, not just talking to women. But 22 is also an opportunity. Your goal shouldn't necessarily be to overcome shyness around women this year, or even next, but to be better at it by age 27, or 28. Second, realize that most people, even women even attractive women, are shy themselves. This has become even more true in the era of smartphones, constant headphone use, etc. So the barrier to entry to talking with strangers may seem higher than it was a few years ago, but it's actually lower today. Many people are so shocked to be approached by a stranger that they're actually more likely to listen, to give you a chance. Finally, as with anything else, practice leads to improvement. Take a month see if you can approach 100 women, that's roughly 3 per day. Take notes at the end of each day a journal with observations, etc. I guarantee you that you'll find approach number 100 or even number 80, easier more comfortable than approach number 1, or number 7, and your confidence will then build upon itself accordingly.